you know, some people say, I believe the Bible, and you're wrong about uh, marriage being a man and a woman. Well, you you can't really point to You can believe what you want to, but if you read Scripture, Old and New Testament, it's pretty clear. And Romans chapter 1, uh, it, uh, it seems pretty clear to me. But the great thing about so many groups that came to America and started the country, including the Pilgrims back when they came, and eventually, well, and actually the Great Reformation of the 1700s that ended up uh, with giving us uh, the freest nation until, you know, more recently as people try to take our freedoms away. But uh, they came to avoid re- persecution for being Christians. So many. That's what the pilgrims were trying to get away from. And that was at the core of so many of the debates, making sure that people could have, you know, the different denominational beliefs. Mm-hmm. Uh, and, uh, you know, the, the the Continental Congress, as Ben Franklin said in 1787, when we were sensible of day, danger, we had daily prayer in this room. Well, back during the Revolution, they hired a chaplain because they were afraid if they left prayer to any one of the members, they might not do a prayer that would satisfy the Christian Quakers or this denomination or that denomination. So they would agree on a chaplain, a Christian chaplain, who would pray and would keep from offending the different denominations. And look where we are today. Now, it is uh, really Christians are the only group in America that it is politically correct to abuse and uh, misuse.